Alright, I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. But actually, by saying, call her Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, which is all praises in the Hebrew. And um, to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people, it can be called God by Hashem, which is in the name uh, of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people, it can be called Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. I do want to give a shout out to you, Octonus, pushing this word throughout the uh, four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and to the confusion of faces amongst us, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. Though you may look like the heathen nations that you're scattered amongst, uh, plus, of course, the same thing, your sea line goes back to a so called Negro, Latino, Native American man. Most importantly, if your spirit also bear witness with this word and this truth, and you can receive it, Okay, as if you're a child of one of the uh, ch children of the Most High, then you are an Israelite. Okay, no matter what you look like, if you can receive this and you fit those descriptions, then you are an Israelite. So you so-called uh, to the elect of the nation of Israel, to you sisters that do listen on Shalom, to the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who this world's going out to, uh, Shalom to you, to you so-called Negroes, Latinos. You so-called Negroes, Lat uh, Latinos, and Native Americans, you consist of the 12 tribes, okay? You are the uh, biblical Israelites, uh, Hebrew Israelites, according to the scriptures, not the bywords that was placed upon you by Esau, Edom, okay? And the other uh, nations, Esau, Edom being the so-called white man, okay? And um, you see now, it's out there, okay? This word has been pushed. Actually, let me get this first scripture. This description just came in my head. Let me move this up. So like your uh, gospel. I think it's Matthew. I forgot chapter. Alright. Yeah, this is uh, Matthew 24. And 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, which it is being preached by what I'm doing now, like a video, a pistol, highways and the byways, which is the chief places of concourse, according to some Proverbs, the first chapter and the 20th verse. It says, and then shall the end come. And that's what we're witnessing. We're witnessing the end of what? And the end of the world, because according to Ecclesiastes, the world doesn't end. Okay? It's just the age of a ruler. Okay, and right now we're in the end whose world? Esau, Eden, the so-called white man. And now because of that, they're deeming, now they're bringing up the uh, whole Hebrew Israelite thing up in the news now. Basically, they're demonizing. Okay, so I'm going to play this video, then I'm going to hop to another video to basically debunk the lies of Esau in this video. So, here it is. Coming now to the group that instigated the Covington incident, the black Hebrew Israelites. Here they are in Washington, D.C., yelling at the high school students. Let's make America great again. A bunch of child molested Look all these dusty crackers with that racist garbage on. Look at your future school shoot. That's right. A bunch of in incest babies. The biggest terrorist on the face of this earth is the pale-faced man, woman, and child. The black Hebrew Israelites are described as a black nationalist hate group with milk. And just to pause, there's no such thing as a black person or there's no such thing as a white person. You have people that's of, we're different shades of brown, okay? And you did the so-called white race. They're not white. You see the dude, uh, uh, Waters, Jimmy, what's his name? Jimmy Waters, Jesse Waters. If you look at his uh, shirt, that white shirt he has on, that white polo he has on, it does not match with his skin. You see his skin is like a pinkish reddish color. Just like the scriptures in Genesis, the 25th chapter, and the uh, the 21st verse on down, okay? Going into uh, Esau and uh, Jacob being born, okay? They are red, man. And Edom, okay? And if you go into Edom, which you so-called white people are the Edomites, okay? The biblical Edomites. 
it means rain. And that's what color, as you see, the dude, the reporter on here, Jesse Waters is. Okay? And the reason they push the whole black, um, they'll push the whole black vibration is basically to uh, put a, a, a terroristic or demonize what's going on. Okay, so they can control the narrative, so they say. Just to pause on that. It's in overtones. They believe blacks are the true descendants of the biblical Israelites, and many of their sects are anti-white. Many here on the East Coast are pretty familiar with the group who dress up in robes and preach their teachings on street corners. I happened to catch up with them in Philly about two years ago. President Trump, how are you feeling about it? How do I feel about President Trump? I think that white people put him off, put Trump in office, and that was the man that they wanted him to, to rule over their people. Right. But I think black people, Hispanics and Native Americans, have a king that they need to obey. Right. And this is what my power said. Read Acts 5 and 29. Acts chapter 5 and 29. Then Peter and all the apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Joining me now, Katriel Ben Israel, a former teacher at Kol Sharit Ben Yai Nas Israel. I don't think I got the pronunciation exactly correct, but I did my best. Now, you heard the sound coming from people in your organization yelling at these high school students. Do you think that was appropriate? Well, first of all, um, that organization uh, that you speak of is not uh, representative of the whole nation of Israel. We're descendants uh, by seed, by heritage of this people called Yisrael. So you <clears throat> condemn these people that were hurling that kind of hateful language at the students? Well, I don't know if it was quite hateful. Like it wasn't this. quite hateful. Crackers, well, incest we, babies, child molesters. Well, what do you consider that, love? Well, they have a way and style that they bring their message to the people. That's uh, What's that message, though? That's a hateful message. Uh... That's their style. That's their style, and it's pretty hateful. Come on, you're, you're a I'm smart not hateful. man. I'm an Israelite, but I'm not hateful. Okay, well, that was pretty hateful. I think you would agree that was hateful language. There's a lot of hate in America that's not really initiated by what you want to say, Israelite groups like that. But you wouldn't agree with me that that was hateful language directed at the Covington boys by this black Israelite group? I don't, I don't know what initiate group? that. What did the, what did the uh, conversation bring forth. Uh, okay, listen, I haven't seen all of the video. Mm -hmm. I've just seen what was said to the Covenant boys. We didn't see anything coming from the other side directed at the right, black so Israelites. It's, it's basically slanted. We don't know why they responded in the way they did. You just give me one side of the story, so. Okay. Um, is it okay to disparage other ethnicities in the black Israelite group? Well, you keep calling it a group. Uh, every nation Religious. has... It's not religion, it's his nationality. Okay, is, is your nationality okay with disparaging other racial groups? No, not at all. Okay, that's good. I'm glad I'm glad you said that. Yes. Um, is there a problem right now with the black Israelites? Did, are they angry at something specific? What's the beef? Well, from my perspective, we've been in captivity for 400 years. We've been denied, denied our heritage, our land, uh, what rightfully belongs to us as a people. We've been here for 400 years. We've had uh, miseducation in regards to what belongs to us nationally or ethnically uh, as servants to this, this country. So what belongs to you specifically? Specifically, what belongs to us is the land. In, in America? No. In Israel? Uh, Absolutely. Okay, so you... Actually, that is. America does be it belong. But America, who was on this land? America... The, the so-called Native Americans was on this land. They, the, who you so-called Native Americans are a part of the Northern Kingdom. You make up the tribe of Gad. Okay? This was your land. And also, the tribe of Issachar was, uh, uh, you were from the, uh, you so-called Mexicans. Okay? This was your land. And these, these, these Edomites, okay, they stole it from you. So this land does belong to the, uh, the, the so, to the, uh, us. Okay? And so does Israel. Okay? Who here and are in America... And you want the land in Israel to be given back to you? Absolutely. Because you believe it's rightfully yours? Absolutely. It is. Okay. So you, you probably have to fight with the Palestinians over that. Well. And, and, and you uh, and you Amalekites, which you, you fake Jews over there. See, he didn't say that. You see, he just said the Palestinians, those, those Arabs over there. Okay? 
He didn't mention the fake Jews because they're really the same people. Okay, they're all Edomites. But um, let me just. Because we think it's there still. So a lot of people think it's theirs, but prophecy says the children of Israel will return to their land from the scattered places that we've been scattered. Okay. Um, your group has been called a hate group. Well, you keep saying my group. The children of Israel came over here on slave ships, and we're in churches, we're in mosques, we're in various religious doctrines that have been perpetrated on us as a captive slave body of people. And this process of awakening to know who we are, our roots are, uh, has taken on many factions. And basically, they've been formulated into religious concepts where ethnically, nationally, we're descendants by our seed, by heritage, by birth okay. of the nation of Israel. All right, so in general, not talking about Covington right now, but in general, mm -hmm. do you have a problem with white Americans wearing Make America Great Again hats? Not at all. Not at all. Well, that incident um, highlighted what the problem is with America today because you have Native Americans who are speaking out in regards to what? What transpired with them? And what transpired with them? They were pushed on reservations. They, they lost their lands. Then you had the Israelite group who we were brought here by slavery, forced against our will, and given doctrines that don't even belong to us. And Deuteronomy the 28th everything. chapter told and you why. And then you have the... Um, Christian school that was there, and they have a right to speak as well. Okay. I do think some of your members are giving you guys a bad name. Let's just watch some, just recordings of some of the language that you guys have been using. Roll the tape. That's right. Y'all are going into slavery for enslavement so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right? That's what the Bible say, all right? So y'all can sit up here and listen. Y'all can take it as a joke, but guess what? All the atrocities that was done to our people, it's going to be done to you times two. Okay. So you see what they just did? They basically, I'm gonna show you what they did. Okay, Esau is playing his his mind, his his trickery, his witchcraft. Okay. So he just showed you that video. He just showed you automatically that part. But I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you that video. The true uh uh. How it went down in that video. Now you about to see this this dude is the devil, okay? Here's the video. That was the uh by the way, that was the uh the GMS San Francisco Bay Area camp. Shows. This is what they won't show you though. This shows that he's the uh, devil and he's a deceiver. Okay? So he basically just exposed himself. See, I see you just, you just morphed into reality all of a sudden, right? So you really want to get down the street. Or do you want to stand here and, and look exasperated and disgusted? Or do you want to use no, first, first, there's 
See that? She got arrested. So here it is. You got Jesse Waters showing what he showed. He just showed you the part where they shoved her on the ground. They didn't show you what she did in order to lead up to that. And then she ends up getting arrested. Okay? But they don't want to show you that on uh, 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 Fox News because Esau wants to control the narrative. This is his, his way of, of, of demonizing uh, 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 us from basically exposing it for who he is. Scripture and Psalms and those in the book of Psalms. There it is. Okay. This is what's happening. Okay. It says this is Psalms 37, verse 12. It says the wicked, the wicked are you Edomites, okay, just as you saw that Edomite woman, okay, you, you so-called white people, okay, Malachi 1 and 4, read that. Plot against the just and gnash him upon him with his teeth, okay. The Lord shall laugh at him for he sees that his day is coming, man. And that's what it is, man. He's using his media basically to demonize us, basically, for bringing out, uh, exposing who he is, why things are happening, and, and who we are as a people. Of the nation, uh, the, the uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as a people, okay? And he wants to stop that because if that's, if this is what's happening. There's a great awakening happening, and basically that's a sign of his end right there, man. So he's doing, the, uh, starting off with uh, demonization, okay? That's how Esau gets down. Esau, just like how it was with uh, uh, Iraq, Iraq, what did they do to uh, 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 Saddam, uh, Saddam Hussein? They demonized him on the media first, then they went in and took him out. It's the same case with this man, okay? The, the, the elites of the society, okay, who are also Edomites, they, uh, they're doing this because they wanna, they're about to make a move. And what really just happened, okay, the very same weapon, okay, because this is a part of his sword, this is witchcraft, okay? Okay, this is how he get he starts it off. Okay, this is Psalms. Oh, same chapter. Let me see. It says the wicked have sought, have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, and that's what we are. We're the poor and needy. Okay, 
and to slay such as be of upright conversation. And that's what they're trying to do. Okay? They want to stop this word from coming out because this word is, is damaging their kingdom. Okay? Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bow shall be breaking, man. And this is a prime example. The same news media that you try to use to demonize us, it exposed you, man. I just showed you the full video. It just shows that he's doing what Esau is doing. He's taking sound bites and he's basically putting it to where it will look like where, where there are bad people. But really, it's him. Because he's trying to hide that, man. Okay? Back to this video. I'm going to watch a little bit more, then I'm just going to finish it off. We've been in captivity for 400 years. We've been denied, denied our heritage, our land, uh, what rightfully belongs to us as a people. We've been here for 400 years. We've had uh, miseducation in regards to what belongs to us nationally or ethnically uh, as servants to this country. So what belongs to you specifically? Specifically, what belongs to us is the land. In, in America? No. In Israel? Absolutely. Okay, so you here are in America, and you want the land in Israel to be given back to you? Absolutely. Because you believe it's rightfully yours? Absolutely. Okay, so you, you probably have to fight with the Palestinians over that. Well, it's a fight. Because they think it's theirs too. So a lot of people think it's theirs, but prophecy says the children of Israel will return to their land from the scattered places. It also says there will be a great awakening, okay. which is happening um, now. Your group has been called a hate group. Well, you keep saying my group. Us as a captive slave body of people, and, Let me and skip this process of awakening to related to religious concepts where wearing make America great again hats, no, no, no. not at all. Well, that incident um, highlighted what the problem is with America today because you have Native Americans who are speaking out in regards to what, what transpired with them, and what transpired with them. They were pushed on reservations. They, they lost their lands. Then you had the Israelite group, who we were brought here by slavery, forced against our will, and given doctrines that don't even belong to us. And we've lost everything. That's right. Christianity, the, um, Islam, Christian and all the other madness is out here. That was there. And they have a right to speak as well. Okay. I do think some of your members are giving you guys a bad name. Let's show what I can say, all right? So he hears about the black Israelites, okay. that's what they think of. Now, I know you're saying that you know, they don't speak for everybody, but they actually do, because that's all everybody sees. Well, you could say that about the Ku Klux Klan and neo-Nazis and skinhead as well. Does that represent you? Do you believe it does? Well, not really. This dude's playing games. Just like you shouldn't believe what they're saying represents all Israelites. So you would compare that sect that has been you know, pretty aggressive with mm -hmm. the language and physically, you would compare them to the Klan? No, not at all. No? Not at all. So you don't believe that black Israelites are superior to any other group? You think everybody's equal? Absolutely. That's, yeah. a, that's a lie. That's a lie. We are superior. The scriptures tell us that uh, uh, ye are the salt of the earth, man. Actually, let me get that Genesis. 25 That's a lie We are You other nations You heathens are nothing Hold on Let me just get this Let's get that the scriptures talk This is Genesis Damn it This, this video might be actually kind of long You know I wasn't planning on for this video But this is the scriptures that's coming It's Genesis 21 25 and 21 Isaac entreated the Lord Let me just move this up Entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him Rebecca's wife conceived and the children struggled together within her she said if it be so why am I thus and she went to inquire of the Lord and the Lord said unto her two nations are in thy womb and two men of the people shall be separated from thy bowels and one people shall be stronger than the other people man and well, who's stronger man who kingdom is this this is the so called white man's kingdom okay but who dominates the sports who dominates the music who dominates the uh, entertainment world who dominates everything? The so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans, man. And the confusion of faces as well, man. Okay, it look like the, the, the heathen nations, but their bloodline goes back to our people, okay? So we are strong you. And it also says,
I think it's Matthew 5 and 13. Yeah, ye are the salt of the earth, but if... Hold on, actually, let me get the, uh, Psalms 82. Let me see. This is Jeremiah 10 and 16, the portion of Jacob, Jacob, who's, who is Israel, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, is not like them. For he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Okay? And let me get the, uh, that Matthew 5 and uh, 13. I'm going to be hopping around from scripture to scripture. No, precept upon precept. This is Matthew 5 and 13. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out to be tried on the foot of men. It said that Israel is the salt of the earth, man. We are the salt of the earth. None, none of you other nations, man. The Lord says you, you, you nations are nothing but like to spittle to them. Okay, that's a drop of a bucket, man. This is Psalms 82. And, uh... Eighty two and six, let me just get straight to the point. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the most high, man. So we are, man. We are superior. To all you nations, especially you Edomites, okay? But you Edomites have deceived the world, okay? Deceived the world on, uh, that you were the superior and that we were just nothing. We were underneath you. When that's the lie, man. You are a liar, man, okay? This is, uh, let me see. This is Proverbs 12 and 19. The lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but a for a moment. And that's what's happening, man. The lies that you've been spreading is, 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 is no more, basically. It's being demolished, man. Okay? The truth is out here, man. Okay? The truth, the truth is, is, is now being flourished throughout the four corners of the earth. And it's making you Edomites panic. Okay? That's why now we're hitting the news. Because if you go back some months and some years, you never seen us on the you never seen a, a, us on the news. Them even bringing up the whole uh, uh, Hebrew Israelites, the, the, uh, attaching the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to it. Now they are because it's out there. They can't conceal it anymore. Okay. But um, go back to the video. I'm gonna finish it off. Get the last few scriptures and close it out. The nations on the earth. Okay. We made our mistakes and we pay for it. And every other nation is going to do the same thing. If you become immoral and corrupt and decay, here's a price to pay. Uh, lastly, what do you think about this uh, Nathan Phillips, this uh, this Indian activist who was banging the drum? He was a paid he actor, a right by the way, set up by his Esau. And stand up for his people. Uh, his you, land, his language, you, his culture has been taken away violently. Uh, and they have every right, like everybody else that's here, to uh, speak their minds. Okay. Do, I mean, do you think that the... Uh, you know, the son should pay for the sins of the father? Uh, yes. Okay, so if, if my father, you know, shot someone, I should pay the price? If he's still in a crime family, yes. Okay. What about someone's great, 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 great... You see how Esau tries to play games? He's trying so hard to get away from his judgment, man. And yes, you are uh, uh, going to pay for what your father said done. Okay, reincarnation is in the Bible, man. Okay? This, uh... That's why I saw, I mean, Isaiah, no, 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 blue letter just went out. Fine, I'll just get it. Uh, blue letter. My King James that went off too. They took that off. That's why this says this. See, they, they, they've been paying attention 
to uh, uh, this uh, uh, this truth coming out. They just been trying to hide it, but now they're forced to acknowledge it. Okay, this uh uh. 14 verse 20, thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed thy land, slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. You are, you so called white people, you are the Edomites, you're the seed of the evildoers, man. And you, that's what you did. You destroyed the land, okay? You stole it from the Native Americans you, and you slain them, man, okay? Then you, you tried to, uh, X out the, uh, Issacharites down there and said that they're aliens. Well, you're the real aliens, man. You're the vagabonds, okay? And, um, this is the point. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, man. And you are your forefathers coming back, man. Okay, just like we are. Okay? That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the faces of the world with cities, man. Okay? So, yes, you are going to pay for what your forefathers did. Okay? You're not going to escape your judgment, man. And you see how he tried to say my great, 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 great grandfather? Don't matter. Your great, great, great grandfather was an Edomite. Okay? Um But this is what's gonna happen, okay? This is what's about to take place. It's Christmas. It said that it was prophesied that they would do this, man. That they would demonize try to demonize us. This is Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And this devil is talking about Esau, man. Okay? And this is the start of it. The demonization. And then eventually they're going to come in like a flood, man. Just like uh, uh, a second Ezra, the 16th chapter say, how the, uh, a great multitude, how it will be a great insurrection upon those fearing the Lord. Okay? And how they shall cast a, a spirit, be a... Uh, be like madman sparing none. Okay? This is what's about to happen. Okay? This is what this is the, the scripture said. But this is gonna also happen, man. It's uh Isaiah, if I'm not mistaken. Isaiah 59. That's what it was. It's Isaiah. Uh 59 verse 19. Show saw the Lord fear. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. They fear that name, man. Didn't the Lord say, uh, 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 my, na my name will be in Malachi, the, uh, in the book of Malachi, if I'm not mistaken. He said, my name will be dreadful among the heathen, okay? When the enemy, who is that enemy? Esau, starting with Esau, man, shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them, man, okay? That's going to be, uh, 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 and that's the time we're coming into, man. This is going to be the time you're going to see the Lord uh, make miracles, man. Okay? And most, and, and how, the, how is the Lord going to lift up a standard against them? According to scriptures, his men are supposed to receive spiritual power. Okay? And to you, to you, you people in the world, especially you two-thirds, that might sound so crazy, unbelievable. That's not real. That can't happen. What's well, going to happen, man? Just like everything else the Lord said is going to happen, is happening. The demonization that they're doing, that, is, that was said that was going to happen, man. Okay? By the angels. Daniel 12 and um, 1 talks about how Michael, the art angel, uh, art, uh, angel he's going to uh, have to stand up in the, this, uh, this time we enter into, the time of Jacob's trouble, man, okay? That the angels going to protect us. Just like Psalms um, 34 verse 7 say, For the angels of the Lord and camp have round about them that fear from and deliver them, man, okay? They're going to be out here as well, man, but mainly the spiritual power, man. But the point being is the Lord is going to... Uh, uh, if East, once Esau makes his move, he tries to come on us, okay? He tries to stop this word by taking us out, by killing us, then the Lord's gonna make his move, okay? So go ahead, Esau. Go ahead and make your move, man. Because, you know, we've been waiting, man. He's just tired of the, the, the madness, man, the lies, man. This is, man, just spreading, man, okay? And it's just gonna get worse and worse until he actually does what I just read to you. He's gonna actually just roll up, okay? But uh, that's my lesson. You know, this was kind of longer than I planned to be. You know, but Lord Williams is out of fine. I do want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah. Shalom to the uh, elect. Okay, or hopefully, like whoever may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth.